And you might say, I mean, if, if I was my younger self, I would say, oh, what a cop out, you know. You know, there he is. He's like this really right wing bloke who's, you know, partly responsible for Brexit. And you, you know, you're such a trimmer beard. You go and have lunch with the man, you know, and it's all terribly nice. Um, I think, um, I think, however, um, I mean, it was, it came about in an odd way. I mean, Banks is an absolutely avid tweeter basically said on Twitter that it was migration that caused the fall of the Roman Empire. Well, I'm just I'm just kind of internally programmed when I see that sort of rubbish to say I think it's rubbish. But of course, if you enter into a Twitter debate with particularly... I mean, I think what's interesting about some of these people, not Stringfellow but, uh, or Johnson, but Taleb and um, Banks, if... If you enter into a debate with people who, whatever the nuances of their own personal political position, have some very odd and often not very nice alt-right followers, you quickly find that whatever your debate with them is, um, that it it blows up. And I actually rather um, admired Banks. You know, you know I've... There's millions of things about banks I do not admire at all. But actually, when he saw me say, look, you are wrong, guys, and when he saw a few other people who clearly knew something saying, look, you were wrong, he did step outside his kind of little tribe of people who were saying, yeah, Aaron, tell her she's a really, you know, etc., and said, we ought to talk about this. And I thought, well, look, you can't do any harm, can you? You can't do any harm in that. Yeah. And I think he was, so I thought in some ways, as an individual human being, you know, he came out all right. Now, you might say, of course, he was politically and PR-wise by far the smartest decision. You know, there's, but, you know, nonetheless, it was, you know, I think that's what, I mean, that's what academics should be doing. I don't think we should be sitting simply saying, you know, um, I really deplore you know, the views of X, Y, and then we should be talking to them and saying why we deplore them, you know, and I know it's too easy, and I've read Donna Zuckerberg on this, and I think, you know, I you know, I admire her kind of determination, but actually, in the end, um, I do want to say, you're wrong, and I want to explain to you why you're wrong. I don't want to be outraged by you, and I don't want to deplore your politics, I'm not particularly interested in that, I've got better things to do, um, but I do, what I do want to deplore, and show you why you're wrong, is... The, the way you are using the classical world is just false. And, and that, now, I mean, I think it's, I, I mean, I do think there's all kinds of, you know, difficult issues there. But in the end, now, I, you know, I would, I would like the classical world to be used for productive and um, um, sophisticated and engaged debate which basically came down on a left-wing liberal position, right? That's what, that's what I like. But I'm afraid, you know, me and my friends on the liberal left don't own the Romans. You know, we do not own them. It's not, you know, we can't say to somebody else, you can't, you know, they can't be yours too. What we can do is show, because usually it is the case, why they've got them wrong. 